I learned it from the owner of a five-star restaurant, and today, I show you the secret. For this delicious recipe we will need three chicken breasts, to which I will make vertical cut, this way I do it. Then I will season the chicken breast with a teaspoon of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of salt spreading it on the chicken breast. A pinch of ground black pepper, but if you don't like it you can skip this ingredient. Half a teaspoon of sweet paprika. A teaspoon of dehydrated parsley. Finally, a tablespoon of olive oil and with my hands I will spread the seasonings on the chicken breast. Friends, these chicken breasts are incredible and very delicious I recommend it. Take advantage of this moment and leave me here below what country or city you are seeing us, to thank you for seeing our recipes. Now in a pan I will add a little oil and place the chicken breast that I have seasoned to seal it well on both sides over medium heat. Tell me here below what city or country you are seeing us, to thank you for seeing our recipes. The greeting in today's recipe is for Gigi Maine who looks at us from New York, Marty Dill who looks at us from USA and Mary Lee who looks at us from Canada. Thank you very much to these followers for always seeing our recipes. When they are sealed on both sides, I will remove it from the pan but in the same pan I will add a tablespoon of butter and spread it well until melted. After I have melted the butter, I will add a julienne onion. Also, I will add three crushed garlic cloves and fry these two ingredients for three minutes. While cooking fence, in a bowl I will add a tablespoon of mustard. Two tablespoons of place sauce, do not forget to add it because this will help us to give color to the chicken breast. A tablespoon of honey. And this is how the mixture should be. When I know they're completely frying the onion and garlic, I will add this mixture that I just prepared and wait for it to start boiling. Once it is boiling, I will place the chicken breasts that I had reserved. I will cover the pan and let it cook until the mixture is reduced by half. Since I know they're reduced by half, I will turn it over so that it cooks well on the other side. If you've seen this recipe so far, it's a sign that you're enjoying our recipe so right here below, excellent chicken breasts, so we can send you a greeting on the next recipe. And already our chicken breasts ready, look how delicious they look. I hope you like this recipe with chicken breast, although I would like you to rate it, from 0 to 10 to know if you liked the result. If you have come seeing this recipe so far, leave me the word, delicious, to know that you saw the recipe until the end. Thank you for seeing this recipe until the end, tell me if it is the first time, you see one of my recipes I send you a big hug, God bless you, see you in the next recipe.